Hello everyone and welcome to Fun with Fitzy. Today's video, Chapter 6, Video 2. And we're going to be talking about journal entries in a periodic system. So again, review from grade 11. For sales transactions, as you know, in a periodic system where we do not keep track of cost of goods sold and merchandise inventory on a transaction by transaction basis, uh, only one entry is required. So uh, when we make a sale, we debit accounts receivable and credit sales for the amount. And of course, there's HST in here. This is just a simplified version of it. For sales returns and allowances, we actually use the sales returns and allowance account as a debit. Um, the normal balance of sales returns and allowances is a debit. Uh, it is a contra revenue account. And as you know, revenues have a normal credit balance. And of course, when someone returns something, we need to decrease the amount of money they owe us, so we're going to credit accounts receivable. When we purchase merchandise in a periodic system, we debit purchases. Uh, you will remember me saying in grade 11, when you buy a car, debit auto. When you buy supplies, debit supplies. When you buy merchandise, debit purchases. It's one of these odd situations. And as you know, uh, purchases is a, an expense account. Um, purchases normally has a debit balance and we need to credit accounts payable in this case uh, if they owe us if we owe money otherwise if we pay cash then we will credit cash purchase returns and allowances in a periodic inventory system uh, we're going to reverse that it's like we are returning goods we no longer uh, need or they're damaged or there's something wrong with them so we're going to credit purchase returns and allowances which is a contra expense account with a normal credit balance and we're going to debit accounts payable in, uh, to lower the amount of money we owe accounts payable again we're going to debit and credit purchase returns and allowances and again purchase returns and allowances is a contra expense account for freight in a periodic system, again, this is all review, we're going to use freight in for goods that are coming to us that we purchase. When we're sending goods to our customer, we're going to use delivery expense or freight out. Those are operating expenses and they're not included in the cost of goods sold section of our income statement. Okay, so uh, freight in is our debit and we're going to credit cash. So that was very simple. Review from grade 11, so by now you should be able to journalize sales, sales returns, purchase and purchase returns, and freight in in a periodic inventory system. Thanks for watching. Hope this helped.